everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and some breaking news. A second Springbok alignment camp will kick off in Cape Town tomorrow um, with Rassi Erasmus announcing the plans for the Springbok camp uh, over the next little week, which will not you know, include the Sharks players who are currently over in the UK preparing for the EPPR Challenge Cup final, which takes place. Um, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Friday night at 9 o'clock, which we will be live for. So make sure you come and join us for that watch along. Um, before we get into the press release, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so uh, the first Spring Market Alignment Camp uh, took place earlier this year. Um, they uh, was hosted in March, and uh, basically it was a series of online alignment sessions with selected locally-based overseas players um, replacing the initial plan of an in-person camp early in May, due to the majority of the players involved in the Northern Hemisphere at the time. Um, since then, uh, players from the Hollywood Sharks um, have not been have been excused from this week's camp, um, which is taking place in person. Um, and thirty-eight players will be um, assembling for the two-day camp, which will take place um, on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, but obviously we unfortunately don't have a list of the players. They, they did a release last time. We don't have a list of the players. Um, so we will try our hardest and hopefully we'll see some photos and stuff like that coming out of the camp and be able to confirm exactly who has been uh, included, who has not been included. Um, but, um, basically this is what Rusty Rasmus had to say about the camp itself. Uh, he says, we are moving on a two, sorry, we're moving into a new cycle as a group, as our first it is only a few weeks away, so it is vital that we start diving deeper into our on-field planning. Uh, he says, in the first two camps, we presented our wider plans to the players and introduced the new ideas presented by all the coaches and especially the new additions to the coaching team, Tony Brown, Jerry Flannery, and Jan Paper. So we are in a good position to start zooming into different areas of the game in details. Uh, he said, with our first test around the corner, it will be great to have everyone together and ensure that the coaches and players are 100% aligned in terms of what we want to achieve, how we want, how we plan to approach the season. Uh, so we have a challenging year lined up as the test against Wales falls outside of the international window, and then we play two tests against Ireland, the second ranked team in the world, and our first test against Portugal in the Castle Lager incoming series. Because we then move to the Castle Lager Rugby Championship, which kicks off with a back-to-back -back away test in Australia, followed by two tests against New Zealand in South Africa and two matches against Argentina away and home. Our Castle Lager outgoing tour will also serve as uh, a thorough test with the matches against Scotland, England, and Wales lined up. The sooner we are lined as a group, the uh, better. Uh, so the Australian thing, obviously, is no list of players. You know, a lot of people talking about the fact that apparently you know, Siam Masuku is potentially on the, the radar. Um, we don't have confirmation of that because he is part of that Sharks group. Um, so uh, frustrating from that perspective. Uh, and we're not sure exactly if anybody has been a, um, added. Um, from the first group uh, and, and, and was uh, assembled earlier um, in the year. Um, it's good to see, obviously, that the, the things are happening. And, you know, this is not something we saw that often in the previous coaching staff, but something which has been such a good uh, hallmark of the recent um, the recent coach staff in the last sort of five, six years. In fact, they've had these alignment camps to try and um, uh, get all these sort of players aligned. So a reminder, some of the players you might not um, expect, for example, or, or might have missed, uh, some of the players, sort of the non-cap players in the various squads in the previous camp that will hopefully be aligning or will be going there will be the likes of Pilo Gamede, uh, Johan Kromala, Cameron Hanekom, Andrew Hugo Fenter, um, Murat's back in the mix, Ruan Nokia's back in the mix, as with Evan Ruiz, um, Christina Kamp is over there, Minus Van Amerva was a bit of a surprise addition, Ruben van Heerden, uh, we run Fenter from the Lions, Jan Hendrik Vessels from the Bulls. Those are some of the forwards who are uncapped or else haven't played that much for the box. In the back line, players, uh, players like Sasha Feynman, Gomez Zulu, Slaven Hartzenberg, uh, Jordan Hendricks, uh, Kuhn Horn, um, Nenna Hamba, Moni van den Berg, for example, Henke van Veik, uh, all involved in the camp initially as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see exactly say, what those players they are. But um, hopefully we'll have a bit of an update on that in the next few days. But until then, uh, let me know what you think of um, the Springbok season ahead. You know, how do you think we're going to change? Given some of those names, for example, are we going to see a different style of rugby for the box? You know, how might the likes of Jerry Flannery and Tony Brown add to the box? Let me know what you expect to see from the Springboks in their first game in about a month's time. 
um, uh, down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve.